Hi Scorpio, this reading is for you if you just recently broke up or had a fallout with your significant other. I'll do three spreads. The situation spread, whom you're dealing with, uh, who left home and why. The advice spread, what's recommended for you in this situation. And I'll do the uh, new love in the near future spread. Uh, we'll see who is coming towards you. Please like, share and subscribe to support this channel. This is the situation spread, uh, Scorpio. We have the Hierophant, we have the Page of Swords, clarified by the Hermit and uh, the High Priestess. Uh, we have the Seven of Wands and we also have the Four of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could have been dealing with a Taurus or a Virgo or perhaps any Zodiac sign. It kind of looks like uh, you found out something about this person or you found out something and then you add to that information something you, that you already thought of this person or something you suspected about this person and it's kind of like a puzzle got completed inside your head and uh, you said to yourself you know what no I don't want to have anything to do with this person perhaps you went on a few dates with them and uh, you were really uh, you really had high hopes for this connection but uh, something came to light and uh, you said no 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 I don't want to be with this person. The first card that came out is the Hierophant. The Hierophant is the personal Taurus card. You could have been dealing with a Taurus. Um, or the Hierophant um, could be a relationship or marriage. For some of you, you found out this person was already involved with somebody, and but they were hiding it from you. The Hierophant, um, you know, it's something serious. It's a, it's a major arcana card, right? So perhaps this person was coming towards you and they were offering you a serious connection, a serious relationship. They were talking about it. And at first, like I said, you were really high, you really had high hopes for this. But then things changed. Uh, the next card that came out is the Page of Swords. The Page of Swords could have been a message from a friend and uh, that person told you something that you didn't know about this person. The Page of Swords could have been you digging for information. Perhaps you googled them, perhaps uh, you asked around about them, and uh, you found out something about this person, right? And then we got the Hermit, clarifying the Page of Swords. The Hermit is the personal Virgo card. You could have been dealing with a Virgo. Or perhaps the Hermit, this is you kind of like taking the a short break and uh, you're going through some sort of a thought process inside your head. So you will basically put the pieces together. Everything you found out about this person, what you thought about this person before, perhaps you noticed a few things about them, about their behavior. You know, so like I said, this puzzle came together inside your head. The High Priestess, clarifying the Hermit, this is um, a card of somebody hiding something from you, so perhaps, like I said, you found out what they were hiding from you, or the High Priestess is all about your own intuition, so based on what you figured out about them, you decided to say no to this person. Yes, yeah, something just didn't add up about this person, and you kind of sensed it from the very beginning. Right, the seven of ones right next to the deck. This is you pushing this person out of your life, and uh, the four of cups on the bottom of the deck is uh, another card of rejection. Right, so you're saying no, no, no. You know, you look good on paper, but in reality, I don't want to deal with all this stuff that I found out about you, and uh, I don't think it's going to be something good for me. So that's what I have for you <laughs> so far, Scorpio. But um, let's take a look at the advice spread real quick. Here's the advice spread for you, Scorpio. Um, the cards that came out, they're not really an advice, but uh, perhaps the Two of Swords on the bottom of the deck is the advice card, but this spread kind of confirms what I was talking about. We see more details about what actually happened. So we got the uh, Nine of Swords, we have the Five of Wands, we have the Hierophant, clarified by the Tower, and we got the Two of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could still be dealing with a Taurus. So when you did find out about this person, um, the Nine of Swords, the first card I came out, that was your energy. It's like you couldn't believe it, right? You were all stressed out. You were being very anxious about it. You just couldn't sleep at night. And uh, the Five of Wands, the next card over. Perhaps you confronted them and you told them, why didn't you tell me? You know, why were you hiding it from me? Or perhaps the Five of Wands, that was your internal struggle to believe what actually happened or... Um, you were struggling to let this person go because, like I said, they looked really good on paper. The things they were telling you were just great. And uh, then we have the Hierophant clarified by the Tower. The Hierophant is a repeat card and it could be in the Taurus you were dealing with or the Hierophant represents uh, perhaps they were still involved with somebody or 
the Hierophant, this is what you were hoping for. You were hoping to be together with them. You were hoping to commit to them. You were hoping to marry them. And it's clarified by the Tower. So those hopes just came crashing down to the ground with the Tower card. Um, yeah, with the Two of Swords on the bottom of the deck, you said, you know what, no, you know, I'm just going to cut my losses and walk away. No more. Yeah, that's what I have here so far, right? So the advice for you, if this hasn't happened yet, you know, if you haven't cut them out off, I think you should with the Two of Swords to prevent uh, other bad things from happening. Yeah. Well, Scorpio, let's move on to spread number three. Spread number three is uh, new love coming towards you in the near future. Scorpio here, spread number three, new love coming towards you in the near future. We have the star clarified by the page of cups. We have the fool clarified by the two of cups. We have the six of ones clarified by the ten of cups. And we also have the six of swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Aquarius or pretty much any zodiac sign. Is a, And as you can see, I clarified every single card that came out and we still didn't get any court cards. But it still looks really good, Scorpio. You know, not too shabby. The star, the first card that came out, is the personal Aquarius card. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. Or the star is a wish come true. This is something we usually wish for or hope for for a very long time. It's clarified by the Page of Cups. The Page of Cups is an invitation to go out on a date. The Page of Cups is a bouquet of flowers. This is somebody buying you a refreshment at some sort of an establishment. Right? Then the, the Page of Cups is the nicest page out of all four pages, if you ask me. You know, then we have uh, the Fool, clarified by the Two of Cups. So I think it'll be a very easy decision for both of you to just go for it. You know, it's going to be an instant connection. Because with the Fool card, this is, I believe, you and actually both of you taking that leap of faith. And I'm saying both of you because the Fool is clarified by the Two of Cups. The Two of Cups usually involves two people, right? <laughs> this is a card of mutual understanding, mutual love, this is a card of unconditional love, so yeah, it's going to be an instant connection, that's why you're taking that leap of faith with the full card. Then we have the 601s, clarified by the Ten of Cups. The 601s is a card of success, victory, it's a card of feeling great, and uh, this card used to be called the Proposal card, and it's clarified by the Ten of Cups, which is a card of marriage, commitment, family. This is the happily ever after card. That card is actually one of the best cards when it comes to emotionally fulfilling relationships and marriages. Right? The Six of Swords on the bottom of the deck is a great card to have. This is a card of an improvement. This is a card of a rough patch being over. This is a card of things getting better. A card of moving out of choppy waters towards calm waters. So yeah, your life is about to change with this new person. You know, I see nothing but happiness here and the wish come true. You see so many cop cards, and well, pro probably it is uh, your energy, at least partially, right? But you'll definitely feel happy with uh, this uh, development, right? We do have a soulmate card, we do have a family card, we do have a wish come true card. Yep, looks good. I'm really happy for you, Scorpio. Congratulations. And uh, that's what I got for you for this reading. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Scorpio, have an amazing March. And there you have it. I hope my readings resonated with you. And if they did, I hope they make your lives better in one way or the other. Please share and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Thank you for watching.